some of the crazy things she's done. Oh my goodness. After Peter Jr. died, I accidentally saw Pamela at the funeral home. And when she saw me, you would have thought that I had just melted the witch. I mean, she melted on the floor and started screaming to the top of her lungs and went ballistic. Oh my God, oh my God, I can't see her, not now, not now. Get her out of my sight. You realize her son had just killed himself with a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Less than 24 hours prior. And you're mocking her. I didn't mock her. They, do, do, do you want to play that back? Well, I just did that. I didn't do it at the funeral home. I no, just got up and said, um, I'll be the bigger person, and I'll walk out, and I left and like stayed that. outside. Slammed hands down just like he did. I'll be the bigger person. Wow. Walked past me, and I just said, thank you. That was it. No. In fairness to you, uh, when you say, this is the marriage that I supposedly destroyed, you don't know the first thing about this marriage. No, just what I've been so told. So for you to make that comment is both inappropriate and uninformed. Mm -hmm. You're missing about 17 out of 17 and a half years. Mm -hmm. So for you to say, this is the marriage I broke up? Well, I was listening to what she was saying, and she was saying how he had gone, frequented strip clubs, he had done this, he had done that. To me, that... I don't know what broke up your multiple marriages. I don't no, believe that that's I a good marriage. I don't know what broke up your multiple she marriages, but in mine, we changed our vows to until death us unite, not part. I was raised, love forgives. You know not the meaning of the word forgiveness, Pamela. I do. No, you don't. I have forgiven you. I forgive you for the death of Peter. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.